Philo is a DNA alignment game. So with the Human Genome Project, we sequenced every piece of DNA in the human genome, and we've sequenced all the genes. But when we're trying to look at how similar they are to each other, computers are just not good at doing it. Humans are great at recognizing visual patterns, and that's where Philo comes in. The task was that um, the students would sign on and create a user ID, and then align as many puzzles as they wanted to or felt like, and they did that for extra credit on the exam. We'll match an adenine with a tyrosine, or a cytosine with a guadagnine. But what I didn't really expect was that the competition would totally take off. When she said it was a competition, we didn't think it would turn out like this. We all got really competitive, especially when we started getting close to each other in scores. And then it turned into this really big competition for extra credit. So the more time you spend playing the game, the more points you accumulate. So it's really based on the time you put in the game. There were tens of thousands of people doing this all over the world. And our class actually, most of us in the top ten of the week, was all of SFC students. One really great thing about Philo is that it's super relevant for research. It focuses on genes that are relevant to disease, like heart disease or obesity or neurodegeneration. By St. Francis students doing the alignment of these genes, they're helping researchers identify parts of the genes that are important and might be relevant. Like it's better to learn by having fun, you know. Sometimes it doesn't make science seem so boring. That's why I like it by Philo. Turned out great because I came in 10th place in the world. <laughs>